Hello my digital nomads and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make a quilt video for free using AI tools. That's right. So all the tools I'm going to show you are free so there's no excuse you know, for you not to be able to create content uh, so you can you know build up your your virtual real estate or digital asset. Okay, and if you can see, there's many, many, many quotes, uh, a lot of quote videos, and it's, they're doing quite well. And I'm going to show you how it's, how it's done um, and how you can do it easily with AI. So the very first thing you need is obviously quotes, and I prefer Batman quotes. So uh, you know, you can you can, you can make it on any topic. You can you can make it on about quotes about love, uh, quotes from Aristotle, quotes from you know another famous president, or um, you know, anything like that. It could be quotes from characters from a game. This, you get the idea, all right? But for this case, I'm just going to use Batman because there's lots of quotes and material on him, all right? And once you get the quote, let me scroll down, okay? You go to Google Slides. You're going to need to open Google Slides. I'm just going to go ahead and click uh, Demo. And you just copy the paste and copy and paste the quote in here. So, copy it, control C, go into here, control V, and maybe change out the size, maybe make it uh, a bit bigger, all right? And then, this is the important part, you want to, let me delete this, you want to add the quote in the speaker's notes. Okay, and for me, I just want to, I'm going to delete this. All right, so you paste the quote in the speaker notes, and I'm going to explain why you do this later on. All right, so now you have half the slide, all right? You have the quote, all right? You have the quote within um, the speaker notes, and then you're going to need the image. For that, you got to go to Interpix, and you go ahead and type in, um, you can either type in a quote, but I prefer taking aspects of the quote and uh, getting an image from that. So in this case, if you go back to the quote, it's not who I am underneath, um, but what I do that defines me. I'm just going to take that quote right here, and I'm just going to copy it and see what comes up. Why not? All right. Click on search. And see if anything. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. There's lots of stuff that that could be used here. All right. Look at this. Good stuff. All good stuff. So, um, I I like this one. I'm gonna go ahead and use this one. Download the image, and then you go to your slide. Go back to your slide, and you insert the image. All right. So, computer uh, downloads. And you can uh, you can make it like uh, full. Oops. Okay. And let's see, center on page. You can also place it in the back, but let me copy this. I think it's arrange order center. Okay, send it, send back. Okay, and there you have it. Now, can you make it prettier, make it look better? You can make it to the lower, lower half. I prefer putting it up a little bit. All right, and now you need one more. So basically, you have the image, you have the quote. Now you need the voice over, and for that tool, you're going to use another AI tool called Narrakee. All right. Now, in order to use this, you need an account. So, you know, you just go ahead and sign up for free. Um, yeah, it's it's a free account with restrictions, but I've never had a need to go ahead and upgrade. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and log in quick. Okay, and this is what it looks like when you're on the inside. So, what you want to do is you want to scroll down, and you can create different things. Uh, you can open a recent project, create a new audio file from a script, create a new video from from a presentation, or create a new video from a script. What you're going to be doing is this one right here. Okay, so 
uh, you click here okay and it's going to open this up for you and then from there you upload the file so let me go ahead and do that the way you do that is you go to slides you go to file and you want to save uh, where is it download as a Microsoft PowerPoint that's very important if you don't download it at, in the right uh, format this is not going to work so go ahead and download that all right then you go back to narrow key upload the file uh, that you just uh, downloaded and upload it and it's going to now take the the notes in the speaker notes and then it's going to do text-to-speech for you and create a video all right so you don't have to do much right? that's the power of ai it's all mainly automated so let me go ahead and it's ready so you go ahead and create create the uh, video and since this is a web-based tool you don't really need to download anything just wait for it to load um, i'm going to let it run for a little bit so you can get an idea of how long it takes to, to load one slide all right now obviously if you're um video has more than one slide it might take a little longer plus my internet connection today is a little bit weak so it might have something to do with the um the time here but i'm, I'm not i'm not entirely sure all right so i'm going to go ahead and pause it and once it's done uh, i'm going to show you the finished results okay and it's done and this is what it could sound like it's not who i am underneath but what i do that defines me Okay, now obviously you can change the voice, you can change the music, you can change a whole bunch of things, but you can see how these images, these AI images with the quote, paired with the quote, done in series with the text-to-speech can create a, a video, uh, a quotes video quite easily. All right, so this is what I call, um, I mean, Nariki, it, it's, it is made for PowerPoint, but I call it poor man's pictory, right? Because it's free. You can do, you know, you can create a video, a quotes video using text to speech, uh, using their automation and their AI, and it, it's quite powerful. So, um, you know, go ahead and try this out. Uh, the only th key factors I like to remind you of is you have to download, you have to, when you download it in slides, you have to download it in PowerPoint. And when you, if you want the text to speech to read it correctly, make sure that you, you know add the correct text um and so maybe you might have to play around with the the text a little bit all right and also take out the if you want to take out where the the source is from because you already have it listed here it's going to sound weird if, if the person reads it the other thing is you should play around with the, the settings well let me go back play around with different voices play around with different music to get the right kind of tone maybe you want to add it add the music maybe you don't want to that, that, that is up to you um but I prefer a little bit, a little bit of music. Uh, my my secret is you add a little bit of music so that it, it sounds more natural. Right? But if it's just the text of speech, it's gonna sound a bit off. All right. So I hope this video was helpful. And if it was, could you please hit that like button? I'm Vince from Digital Menace Suit. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.